I'd like to tell you a story I heard the other day. There I was in my local. When in walked the captain of the local cricket team. He was not a happy bunny. Because recently the form of the team has been utter rubbish. And their next fixture was a jolly important local match. Against the... Bitter rivals, Codford St... <coughs> Excuse me, St... Rupert. So the captain decides to put an advert... In the window of the local shop. That's person wanted. Well, a month goes by and he's heard... Nothing empty. And the captain's getting into a bit of a tizzy. When, out of the blue, there's a knock at his door. And in walks a dirty great horse. <laughs> oh, oh, of course! I understand you're looking for some new blood, said the horse. And the captain's gobsmacked. But you're a horse! I know replied the horse. But actually, I'm really rather nifty with the old will air. Why not give me a go? Well, what did the captain have to lose? So, that Sunday, the whole village turns out to support their team. Which was nice. Needless, Needless to, to say, say, their performance is as dismal as usual. With only two overs remaining, they need 37 runs. To avoid another humiliating defeat. When from the pavilion, Sachet is the new number 11 batsman. Nice. But unfortunately for him, Baba Big Baba Bernard Armstrong, the village bear, bear blacksmith, is next to bow. And he sets off on his runner and hurls down a vicious delivery. And the horse thumps it <laughs> right at the ground. <laughs> And the next five deliveries? Six! 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 One over left, and only one run needed. To seal! <laughs> An historic cricketing victory. The crowd is now on tinterhooks. Because facing the bowling is young Cuthbert O'Toole. All right, little weed. How he survived the first five balls, nobody knows. But he survives. And as the final ball is burned, he shuts his eyes and springs with all his might. <laughs> and just clips the ball with a fluky thick edge. And O'Toole sets off up the wicket for his winning run. But to his horror, the horse doesn't move. O'Toole shouts, run! But still, the horse doesn't move. And from the pavilion, the captain bellows. Run! 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 Yes, still Still the horse doesn't move. And the crowd lining the pitch scream, Run! 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 And the horse looks up, raises an eyebrow, and says, Me? Run? <laughs> Do me a favour. If I could run, I'd be at Haydock Ruddy Park. <laughs> it's a bad one, isn't it? It's a steamer. It's a stinker. The BBC have always attempted to make you laugh. And we'll continue to do so whether you like it or not. Run, run, run like the wind.